How old are you? How old are you? Paizão, paizão, paizão. Não cai nessa, paizão. It's a trap. It's a trap. Não cai nessa, paizão. Não cai nessa, paizão. Não responde. Não responde. Perguntando para milionários em Dubai como ficar rico. Me parece ser um extremo clickbait, mas eu vou ver mesmo assim. Would you say you're a millionaire? <laughs> Maybe. If someone is watching right now that wants to get rich, what's your best advice? If you're starting from zero, this is what I always tell people is... Dubai é conhecida por ser a cidade mais luxuosa do mundo. E não leva esse título à toa. É literalmente um parque de diversão para milionários e bilionários. Por isso hoje, a missão é ir atrás desses multimilionários para descobrir de uma vez por todas como ficar rico. Já vou começar em um evento exclusivo da Ferrari, que estava acontecendo simplesmente no resort mais luxuoso do mundo. What you do for a living? Uh, we have our brand, Poplogan. Part of the brand, like that's yes. one of your brands. Yes. It's beautiful. Uh, what made you come to Dubai? See the luxury style of life, uh, the quality of life, that you can do here whatever you want. And you can make more money here? Yes, for sure, you can sell it much more. And there is not so many brands with what you can compare your brand. You think money buys happiness? 50-50, you know. Why? Because if we are here, we need to pay for it. Dubai isn't cheap, right? Yes, it's not cheap at all. And every year it's much more. Would you feel comfortable if I guess how much you make per month? Yes. All right, I think you make, I'm gonna say US dollars. $30,000 a month? It's more? More. Mm, it's, so you're a millionaire, $80,000. Close. Close. Can you tell me how much it is? Yeah, uh, last month it was ninety-two. Ninety-two thousand dollars. Yes. Caralho! How old are you? Hold um... Paizão! 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 Não cai nessa, paizão! It's a trap! It's a trap! Não cai nessa, paizão! Não cai nessa, paizão! Não responde! Não responde! I think. <laughs> 24? 23. There's a lot of guys that are coming up to you, or they're respectful. You're not in Royal Atlantis like now? Okay. Maybe it is possible, but it's oh. about the places where you're going. No, I agree. So maybe if you're like in a questionable place, you get like questionable. Quality life, quality people, you know? Dang. So and you're saying, I'm a quality people? Yes, you do. It can be better always, but it's okay. Hoje foi foi lindo, cara. Hoje foi lindo. É, os garotos tentaram. Deu uma hora que não deu. Foi lindo. Hoje foi lindo. Valeu! Valeu, guerreiro! Guerreiro, foi lindo. Deu uma hora que não deu. Excuse me. Hi. No one bother you, man. My That's name okay. is John. Yeah. Uh, you work for Ferrari? Uh, yes, you do, yeah. No, no, oh, you're just the... Yeah, oh, you're yeah. lunch? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, that's so. fine. O cara trabalha pra Ferrari. Quanto que vocês acham que ele deve ganhar? Deixa aqui nos comentários. E se você ainda não me segue, eu tô aqui no evento de Dubai só pra fazer conteúdo pra você. Então, se inscreve. Por isso, tem atrás de mim. Nunca tinha visto esse carro em pessoa. Só aqui em Dubai, Essa não. cor é horrorosa. Eu acho que o dono tá indo ali. Não, não é o dono, não. Daqui a pouco, eu vou entrevistar um cara que ganhou muito dinheiro com as redes sociais. Sam Radmaruvaki. Conversamos na casa dele, onde ele me contou como fez dezenas de milhões de dólares com uma página no Facebook, que em 2014 era a mais viral do mundo em termos de alcance. Pra ter uma ideia de quão rico ele é, só essas duas correntes custam 2 milhões de reais cada. Hey, Caraca. I talked to you earlier. Uh, yeah. Do you have like just one minute? Thank you. Do you, you were in the Ferrari event? Yeah. What do you do for a living, just out of curiosity? I'm in insurance business. Uh, and you own a couple of Ferraris? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you? I'm John. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? I have an events company doing uh, automotive Cara, events. Cara, vídeo maneiro desse maluco. Do you university? You graduated? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have petroleum engineer. There's nothing engineer. to do with the business, right? Yeah, exactly. You're, you're organizing an event for Ferrari. Yeah. It's, it's, I believe it's really exclusive, right? Yeah, it's a private event. So to be invited for this event, like you have to, yeah, that's correct. You have to like own, uh, own a Ferrari. Nice Ferrari. Oh, it has to be a nice Ferrari. Uh, <laughs> Couple of cars. Agora partiu para casa do Sam. Casa não, cobertura. Ele mora em uma penthouse localizado em uma das áreas mais luxuosas de Dubai, avaliado em 11 milhões de dólares. Uma curiosidade: aqui em Dubai não existe PTU. Então pensa que todo ano ele deve economizar no mínimo uns 300 mil reais. E Dubai não para por aí. Aí que também não tem PVA. Sim, mais uma grana que ele economiza, porque 
Olha só o carro dele. 400 No Brasil esse brinquedo pode chegar a 3 milhões de reais. Na verdade deve ser muito mais, porque aqui em Dubai os carros também são muito mais acessíveis. Mas deixa eu te falar, morar aqui não é um sonho tão distante. Dubai oferece diversos benefícios para quem empreende e quer fugir de altos impostos. Se você tem interesse quer saber mais, a Sete, patrocinadora do vídeo Opa! de hoje, pode te ajudar. Eles oferecem diversos Tô serviços, interessado. como consulta de internacionalização para quem busca residência em outros países. Vou mudar a SAC para Dubai. Que é totalmente legal e traz diversos benefícios. Vou mudar a SAC para Dubai, galera. Para estar protegido durante viagens curtas e longas fora do Brasil. Conversando com eles, conseguiu uma oferta promocional. A gente viu o vídeo do dia de ontem da Nath da Isa. de acesso gratuito na comunidade VIP, onde você vai se conectar com diversas pessoas que já saíram do Brasil ou estão saindo, junto com especialistas de internacionalização para estar tirando suas dúvidas. O valor avulso da comunidade é de com live em Dubai. Usando esse link que está na descrição ou aqui no QR Code, você recebe o um acesso de graça por 30 dias. Você só precisa colocar seu e-mail e nome. Obrigado, Seth, por patrocinar esse vídeo. Valeu! Judge someone by who they follow. For example, like, if there's a young guy and he wants to get money, he wants to get ahead, and then I look at who he's following and it's all girls? Come on, man, like... Isso é uma dica importante. Isso é uma dica importante. Olha aí, rapaz. Olha aí, anota aí, ó. I saw that you said in another podcast that if you're not monetizing your network, you need to change your network. Something on those lines. Okay, okay. How can one monetize their network? Yeah, first of all, like, you need to put in the work before you even think about monetization. Because if you're worrying about monetization when you haven't really built an asset, a skill, the easiest way is to get a camera. Be a photographer, Or edit videos. Why? Because you if you're willing value, to, right? Hey man, you gotta provide value, man. Like no one's hanging around me that is taking from me. Like I'm giving them something and they're giving me something. Really into luxury brands. Yeah. But the way you use it, like the the strategic behind it, yeah. is that what got me? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you say like sometimes I'm gonna buy like uh, one of a, a ten piece. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go to this luxury event and yeah. that's gonna start conversation. Yeah. That's gonna get me. Exactly. Like you said, I want to buy the one of ten meat fur that's only ten produced in the world. Caralho. Why? Because I know that the other nine is going to go to very high profile people. You know, I'm not just buying a coat or it's the same with watches. I'm not just buying the watch. I'm buying an entry ticket into the meeting room with all the other people that are buying the same stuff. And to buy this stuff, it costs a lot of money. So you know that there's successful business people that you can network with. Even people, they say like, oh, that's a bad investment, right? And I say, well, that might be a bad investment for you, but it's a good investment for me. Because I know how to make money from it. And there's a quote that you say that I love the quote. That is, uh, I even got it right here. Oh, damn. That is, one of the worst things you can do is listen to somebody else tell you how to be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's dope, man. That's true, man. That's true. Like, What age you, you made your first million? First million? Damn. Like... And it was with the, the page? Caralho, faz tanto tempo que o cara nem lembra. E uma parada que eu tava pensando aqui, mano, é... Cara, eu nunca tinha parado pra pensar como me parece estar tá legal assistir um vídeo com a legenda no meio do vídeo, mano. É claro que, porra, não tô falando de... Não dá pra fazer isso num filme, né? Mas eu nunca tinha parado pra pensar nisso. Não tá yeah, tão estranho como eu achei 26, que seria. 26, man. Uh, US dollars, right? Yeah. How much is your monthly expenses if you just... It's at least over 150,000 US. Cause I be, I be spending, bro. Um, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> How much did like? Oh, uh, this here, yeah, this was like 350 US. <laughs> 350 US, but if you see um this stone here, it's like a, a four carat GIA certified stone, so it's like an investment diamond. But where to guess? Like, how much is your? Uh, well, that that's um 300 US. Não me incomodou a legenda assim, velho. Uh, Richard Mill, 250 US. That's probably the same there. Yeah, and then the earrings, these are um, three and a half carat love hearts. Each. Mano, o cara so tá andando com 10 milhões por aí. Um, de rolé. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I made my own perfume with, um, with Louis Vuitton. With the o man quê? himself, Jacques Cavalier, who made, he's made all the perfumes. And um, you see, it's got my last name there. So this penthouse, I paid, I bought it off plan, and I paid like 5 million US. Caraca! And now it's worth 11 million. 
So I bought it. I bought, How old are us? Uh, I bought it in 2018. By the way, are you graduated in university? Like, nah, man. I didn't even finish school. No, nah, I didn't finish high school. You know, I think that the way that the schooling system it's is, magic. it's good if you want to be a worker. They teach you how to have a job. They teach you how to have a career. But there's no entrepreneurial learn going on in that in that thing. Why? Because think about it, right? The teacher's on a salary. So how can the teacher teach you how to be an entrepreneur when that teacher's on a salary? Yeah, man. Like I didn't I didn't finish school, man. <laughs> okay. Pretty. Um and everything here is like this is all Italian, like all up for my furniture in the house, I paid over like seven hundred thousand US. Oh, this is my favorite right here, man. This right here. That's the block clock. And, uh, and um, is the current price, right? That's the current price of Ethereum. Uh -huh. Every five minutes it changes. Here yeah, I got my cinema room, man. And this was originally just a normal room, and I've been here a lot of the time, man. Pretty much. If you could give another advice for your. Ele não falou que ele faz não onde o famoso com o Facebook. Just stay focused on getting to the money. Like, don't focus on girls. Don't focus on none of that stuff, man. Like, bro, like, I literally come out here every day and. Um, I have my coffee here, like black coffee. Sitting late, me, I'm very blessed to be here. You know, like Conor McGregor, he he stays here um, at the villas down here. This building here is like there's multiple billionaires here. I'm only gonna be around other successful people. If someone is watching right now that wants to get rich, what's your best advice? Damn, that wants to get rich. Well, like I said, first of all, you need to have a skill, right? And if you're starting from zero, this is what I always tell people: is go to sales, start in sales. And start in sales where you have an unlimited commission potential. Um, so you see right here, man, I got like, you say motivation Boa, books, man. Então, I, I turned that on. And, hey! um, and you know what? It looks lit on que stories. Isso? But if you're just waking up in the morning, you just... Caralho, que... Que isso, cara? Man, I got like, you straight motivation books, man. In the night, I, I turned that on. And, um... And you know what? Caralho, it looks lit on stories, man. But if you're just waking up in the morning, you just put it on the video, and then you just hit the thing, and then you just film the view. It's like, it's put a quote there, and it was like, damn. Bro, I got like some, I got some stuff in here, man. I'm gonna show you. Like for example, bro, like this takes one year to make from Louis Vuitton. Do you ever use that? Uh, I use it for like photos and that, but like these are like Swarovski crystal. This is like a bag. That's a uh, speaker box. Holy spell that for her, bro. That is nice. Caralho, essa espada Louis Vuitton, vou te falar, mano. Pô, mano. So you just strap that up, walk around the fashion show like that, and just play your music or whatever, you know what I mean? You feel that? <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna do that one day, though. Uh, Crocodile, uh -huh. um, Hermes, Man. this is custom motor, Python Dior. That's a one out of ten. Dio, Dio. You feel that, man? When you go to wash this, you have like a special place? Yeah, man. For example, like, I just got these done. Got my like, some of my suits just dry, dry cleaned. Bro, look how much one suit costs, man. It's like 558 just to wash the suit. This is like, um, Louis Vuitton, like, uh, see, I'm gonna pull that out in like five years, six years, and everyone's will be damaged and wrecked. And then I'll come with it fresh. And be like, mm. Yeah, man, here's some of my watches right here. I went to Geneva in Switzerland, uh, Louis Vuitton, they flew me over. I went to the factory and just saw how everything was produced. And um, it's crazy that how this oh, was made. Yeah, this 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 so man. for example, right, how you tell the time is, you see the bottom thing? That's mm -hmm. the hour. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Now I see. And these are the logos of oh, Louis Vuitton logos. Oh, now I see. So now it's nine o'clock right there. And let's go to 10. You see that? Yep. How much is this? Oh, this, this wasn't that expensive, man. This was like 130 US. 13,000 or 1300? No, 130,000 US. Oh, 130,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not used to it. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you want, hey, I'm going to tell everyone right now if you want to get one watch in your life, you get this one. Patek Philippe 5711 Rose Gold, right? And why do you get this one? Is because this watch here is the watch people will respect you and you just you don't need to upgrade, right? So you don't need to upgrade, you keep this forever. If you're gonna get one watch in your lifetime and you wanna be like respected by watch people, you wanna walk into meetings and like anyone will be like, damn, he's wearing that. Um, is that that watch right there? Or you can get the stainless steel one. And how yeah. much does it go for? Wait, let me check right now. Oh shit, hold on. Five sixty-six dirhams. So what's that? Oh yeah, one one fifty. Yeah. Yeah, one fifty. Right. Okay, the most expensive, okay, expensive one, I would say this one here. When you go out with them, like you really take care, like nah, man. I wear this to the gym and everything. Yeah. Really? But, Caralho. This here is like in my culture, I'm like Fijian. This is like called a tambour, and it's like a whale's tooth. I wanted to create something that is from my culture but also something that we like a family heirloom because i imagine 
my grandkids or their, their kids, like kids for example seeing this chain and then saying like damn like my granddad was really like that back in the days um even this one for example let me take this one off Rara, Rara Matuvaki. Rara, uh, Ratu. Ratu. Maitavuki. Matavuki. Yeah. Ratu Matu. Rata Matuvaki. <laughs> one. Yeah, so even here, bro, like it's got my last name. T A V U K I. Again. And the hearts. With the love hearts. And you see what these links are? Yeah. DNA. Very good. You know what I mean? Man, that's cool. I did not notice that. Yeah, man. No, 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 no. All right, let's do it. Pô, eu acho bad, bad H pra caralho. Mas assim, eu entendo. É tipo os caras do rap que tem que usar esses cordões gigantes, assim, vários no pescoço. Tipo, sei lá, é um estilo da parada, né, mano? Pô, sei lá, tá ligado? Porque eu não sou ricaço assim ainda. Então eu não posso falar. Mas quando eu for, eu vou trazer os comentários pra vocês.